I'm excited for you to meet our um, to meet our very first author on today's broadcast. And uh, like I said, she is one of me you'll meet, but I'm very excited to start today's broadcast with the author of Overcome Grief to Find Love Again, Heal Your Heart, Create a Map of Your Desires, and Transform Your Life, the beautiful Mary Montgomery. Hello, Mary. Hi, Angela. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Well, I know this book came out of quite a personal journey. I'd love to hear a little more about that journey and this book uh, so people know if this is a book for them. Well, yes, um, the personal journey has been really intense and it's been years in the making. I so let's talk about, yeah, what the book is about and who it's for. Um, this book is about uh, the loss of uh, a loved one, uh, but for many people, it's not necessarily a mate. Uh, it could be anything, anyone. It could be a parent, it could be a child, it could be a, a dear friend. But in my particular case, um, I lost my husband of uh, almost 30 years. And um, it was, uh, tragic actually he was a first responder uh, during 9 11 and uh, we didn't know he was ill uh, it was many years later almost 15 years later that he was diagnosed with esophageal cancer and uh, it was shocking uh, he was a guy who was never sick a day in his life and so when he started sick we were just like shocked and amazed that uh, he had that type of cancer because it was a type of cancer that uh, came from being exposed to toxins. Mm. And so, so we in your were book, we just didn't oh, understand like how that happened. So in your book, Overcome Grief and Find Love Again, I know you share this story. What is the message of your book and who do you think it will really resonate with? The message in my book is about being able to find a way back to yourself after such a tragic loss. And for me in particular, I had to find a way to forgive and forgive the entities and organizations and job that he worked on. And that was not easy for me to do. Right. And in situations where, when you're working for these large corporations and these companies that will uh, have you in environments that are unsafe, where, where there are toxic waste or toxic, and that's a toxic environment, it's very, very difficult um, when you lose someone to a situation like that and these co corporations are not being honest it really causes a, a rage that is seething just below the surface. Um, no one wanted to help me. And that's mm. the book that I was originally going to write because I, I wanted to tell on everybody. I wanted to expose it. And um, what I had to do after almost two years was ask my husband to release me, ask his spirit to release me mm. from this intense connection. You know, we had such an intense, beautiful connection, this loving relationship of almost 30 years. And we did everything together. He wasn't just my husband, he was my best friend. He was my partner, mm. he was my, my business associate. You know, we did everything together. We raised our children together. We raised other people's children together. We had uh, mutual friends together. We had a wonderful, exciting life. We did music together. We did art together. We we hung out together. We partied together. It was it was wonderful. We, it was intense. So it was multi layered our relationship, and and it was beautiful. It was fun, and um, so it was very difficult. And um, I had to a lot of forgiving to do uh, on so many. And different I'm levels. guessing that's part of the like overcoming your grief, healing your heart is a big piece of it is forgiveness. Yeah.
It was huge. It was actually the major part of the book, of the book. And it was a major part of me being able to, to move forward. Uh, and that is where I had to begin. Once he was gone, I had to really go into hermit mode and be with myself and be with, with the God of my understanding so that I could just be still and be quiet and um, not look outside of myself, but just look at myself and really find the things that I needed to work on so that I could get better. And uh, that's what I did. It took me two years to really just be alone, not look for another relationship, not look for like Band-Aid sex uh, or anything else, food or shopping or anything, any of those things to distract me from doing the work mm -hmm. myself that I needed to do so that I could heal the hurt that was in my heart. And, right. and it took me a long time. So last question for you, such a powerful uh, book, powerful message. I know many people are walking through this and having this book as a companion will help them. Um, so hoping for many, many people to read this book as it comes out into the world. Is there anything you want to share about your process of writing this book, uh, the team working with the author incubator, what that was like for you? Publishing my book with the author incubator, I have to say, uh, has been one of the most satisfying and rewarding experiences of my life. I always knew that I was going to write a book ever since I was 10 years old. That's something that I wanted to do. It was inside of me from a little girl. And I never knew that I would find such an amazing supporting cast to help me create, develop, publish, and market my book. And that's what I found at the Author Incubator. People who are honest, people who are strong, people who know what they're doing, people who have the most beautiful personalities, people who are loving, people who are just real. And I mean, who just give it to you raw and who are not just gonna help you do the book, but who are going to help you to heal the things inside of you that you need to heal and face the things that you need to face so that you can become not just the author, but the person who can deliver the message to the ideal reader in such a way that they can receive it. And that's what I got working with you and thank you. Uh, well, thank you, Mary. Mary Montgomery is the author of Overcoming Grief to Find Love Again, Heal Your Heart, Create a Map of Your Desires, and Transform Your Life. Congratulations and best of luck with your book.